The most fundamental concept in meteorology is the fact that hot air rises. So basically, if you have a parcel of air that is warmer than its surrounding environment, it will rise. So suppose we have a surface. And it is surrounded by another surface on each side. Now, as you can see, this surface is darker than the, other, the rest of the sides. So hence, it's going to absorb more light. And when something absorbs light, it tends to reflect it in the infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. And that's what the Earth does. That's what we do. And that's what most objects seem to do. So this area would, be, would cause the air above it to be a little warmer than its surrounding environment. Now the thing about the atmosphere is that near the surface you're going to have a lot more air molecules as denoted by these speckles, but as you get higher they're going to be less spread out. So as you can see it's a little more dense here and as you go up it gets less dense. So what this means is you have a parcel of air and let me use let me use a red to depict the parcel of air. So let's say we have a parcel of air and it gets warmer than its surrounding. That means each air molecule is moving a little faster. So when they move a little faster, you know, air molecule bumps against another piece of air and bounces off. So the fact that they move faster means this thing wants to expand and be a little larger because there's more energy between the air molecules because it is warmer and temperature is a measure of molecular action. Consequently, this parcel becomes less dense than the surrounding air and it will want to rise until it reaches a point at which it's reached equilibrium and buoyancy, and that is how hot air rises.